Hey guys, just like in poker, sometimes it is not the amount of hands you win, it's the one hand you lose. And looking at a lot of these emails from Alpha Investments Patreons, some of these people put a lot of money into MetaZoo. Some of these people put a lot of money into Flesh and Blood. Now I'm optimistic on Flesh and Blood. I don't know very much about it. Uh, maybe I will learn more about it, but I am more optimistic about that card game surviving than MetaZoo, mainly because it looks like Flesh and Blood. It looks like their players are intelligent enough. I was watching this one Flesh and Blood content creator fluke in something, and he got it. Uh, he absolutely hit the nail on the hammer. If Rudy is very upset that he's not able to undercut these game stores, these game stores that provide, you know, gameplay, that provide a place for you to sit, they provide heating or air conditioning, they provide a safe environment, they provide a place for people to come in anytime they want and just sit down, they provide an employee, or maybe the owner himself or herself spends the time to make sure it's a great community, they build a community, that is the... That's a game. That That's a mud effing game, guys. What is not a game is just buying boxes to put in your closet and hoping the boxes go up in price because at the end of the day, they can only really go down in price. And you might ask, why can they go down? Because there's not enough buyers. The buyers are broke. They spend $8,200 on five booster boxes. And though those booster boxes are worth two hundred and fifty dollars, eighty two hundred to two hundred, they lost eight thousand dollars almost. You know where do you expect that they will have infinite money to buy, continue to buy these boxes and speculate on them? They don't. Uh, simply put, there is no money left. There is no money left. So, just like in poker, you can win a few hands, you can double up, but it's the one hand that you really should fold. You really shouldn't buy that Rudy Chan. A, you know, Nightfall kit for $8,200. Um, you shouldn't buy the Rudy Chan 699 for $700. And it's these big things where you it can be a catastrophe. Like when you compare Magic, I don't, I don't think there is a Magic product, and I'm talking about like any product across the space, that you pay $8,200 for and it's worth $200 now. So no matter how bad Magic has gotten, it hasn't gotten that bad where you lose 99% or 97% of your initial investment. Same with um, Flesh and Blood, right? The Monarch First Edition. I mean, it's wild that he did sell out. I believe uh, he sold out of that. So it, it, just, it just blows my mind that there are people buying this stuff, right? What is it? 999.69? Like, you guys understand dot six nine, right? He could just make it nine 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 dot nine nine, but he wanted dot six nine. Like six nine is in crypto, it tells you it's a scam. FTX. That that had six nines all over the place. Like six nines is for ki little kids in their playground. It's not for you to spend a thousand dollars on. For a product to just have six nines all over the place, right? Here you see. 10, 6, 9, 6, 9. I mean, it's people who have never had a girlfriend, people who are virgins. It's people living in their parents' basements. It's just this. And they love it. They love it. They love it. The Timmy's love this number. You know, I think it's pretty sad that Rudy has basically found a bunch of idiots. I, I'm, I'm calling call you out. If you see this 999.69, oh, I know I own 69% of this grading company. Oh, that's all great with Rudy. I mean, Guys, like you know, in business, I can tell you in Wall Street, this is not funny. Like people are going to criticize you now because of FTX and Sam Bakeman Free. Everything that he did, every investment had to end in six nine or begin with six nine. It's crazy to me that he's able to sell these things where clearly they're just using six nine as a meme, right? And it's not a harmless meme. It's actually like there are people so stupid in this page, and I, I've met them. I've talked to them in the emails. They're so stupid that they think that the 6 9 is so funny, they're going to spend $1,000 so they can get an inside track on the joke. They're going to lose about $800 in this purchase, maybe more, $850. I think the boxes are first edition Monarch. 
free shipping is selling for what 70 80 dollars right now on tcg player so not exactly an investable vehicle and the undercutting of the game stores that's not good i mean if i'm in game store i'm just going to straight up tell them hey i'm not going to carry your card game if there's a random dude online with a bunch of subscribers and he's just undercutting me and every single player that comes to my store they're just buying from this random dude online and are refusing to buy from me like, do you know, as a game store, how difficult it is to get $15 a month from somebody? I'm not talking about, like, a membership fee. I'm talking about, like, getting that person to give you $15 a profit. So, like, let's say that you buy a box for $90 in Magic, and $93, and you want to sell it for $108. That guy's not going to buy a box every... That, that Those are your margins for Magic the Gathering, by the way. That dude is not going to buy the box. <laughs> I can tell you straight up. He's going to go on Amazon or go on Rudy Chan and pay less money. Like, it is, you know, I think it's time for these game stores. It's very funny that Rudy says, I'm the savior of the game stores, where every game store just hates him. Some of them won't publicly admit it. They, they will just cow in his honor, right? But most of them, it, it's obvious why they don't like him. Like Rudy said, they're complaining about him because he's undercutting them. He's getting prices on the box cheaper than they're getting prices on the box, and he's selling them to their very customers. Ta-da! I mean, is, is this very difficult to understand? Why? I think the age of alpha investments is over. And I know why it's over, and it won't. it will kind of surprise you. It's a very cyclic thing type of thing. It's over because the age of players has begun. The age of collectors, investors has ended for now. Eventually, it'll cycle back, but right now, we are in hardcore players. I was listening to that Flesh and Blood player, and he explained it best. They don't need Rudy. Rudy needs them, but Rudy doesn't provide anything beneficial to the player base. He doesn't know what the top decks are. He doesn't know what the cards are. He has not evolved in the current meta. He doesn't know anything about Flesh and Blood. The guy was talking about, oh, there's money moving away from this and going to this, but he wouldn't know that because he doesn't play the game. Magic is a game. It's, uh, you know, these, what he call it, the collectible pieces or the board game pieces, and that's what it is. The reason that this investment idea won't work anymore is because you don't need $8,200 of Meta Zoo. You don't need cases of Return to Ravnica or Ravnica. You don't need 24 of these boxes, you idiots. To play a game. There's nothing in it worth having 24 of these boxes. You might buy one box, crack it, and uh, get a few cool cards for EDH. That's it. Because this has become a player game, and no player actually needs 24 boxes of this. Like He sells it in large quantities, and the more quantities he sells, just like Meadow Zoo, the more he charges. And the idea is you just hold on to these 40, 50 boxes of Modern Horizons, and you um, hopefully make a shit ton of money. But that's no longer true because any of the game pieces are just going to be reprinted in a new set. Therefore, holding on to these game pieces doesn't make any sense because they're just going to be reprinted in a more powerful set. You know, like how many of you don't think Triple Masters is coming? Right? It's coming. And there's not a damn thing Rudy can do to stop the players. Right now, I love it. It's a player's game. No investors, no collectors. It's exactly what that matters to. It's exactly what Flesh and Blood figured out. We don't need collectors or investors. We just need players and game stores. Maybe in the future, it'll cycle back, but that's where we are right now. His business model is dead. He's losing patrons en masse as they realize that he's A, not offering the best prices, and B, a lot of these deals, like the Meta Zoo, like, they got fleeced on a lot of this stuff. Eventually, there's two scenarios. Either you run out of money because you're stupid and you misspent your money and you paid $8,200 for Meta Zoo, you paid $700 for a mystery box of shit. Or, so A, you're so stupid that you ran out of money because you don't have infinite money, right? Or you smarten up and leave. That's only two end. That's it.